When I started my cybersecurity journey, I knew I wanted to work in GRC, but little did I know that control implementation is where shit hits the fan. This is episode three of applying the risk management framework in GRC. Step four is implement. Remember all those security controls that we selected in the previous step? Yeah, well now it's time for us to put our money where our mouth is and actually configure the system to adhere to those security controls. But what does that even mean? It means setting up technical controls like implementing a firewall or following STIGs and actually configuring the system to use protocols for things like data in transit and data at rest or MFA and event logging. Some or all of which as an ISO or someone working in GRC, you may not know how to actually go into the system and configure yourself, which is okay. This is where you employ the help of security engineers, system administrators, and other personnel from IT security to help actually implement these security control requirements. There will also be some non-technical controls that you as an ISO or GRC analyst may be responsible for creating policy, procedure, guidance, or SOPs around to properly implement. Step four is also a prime example of why I say GRC stands at the intersection of technical teams and leadership teams. You need to be able to take security control requirements and break it down in a way that's useful for the technical teams that are implementing the control. On the other side of it, you want to be able to take the issues that technical teams run into up to leadership so that they can make more informed decisions about risk. Throughout the entire process, you should also be documenting how these controls are actually being met, also known as implementation statements. Like the previous step, implementation can take some time and you may identify areas where you can't implement a security control. These instances need to be documented in remediation plans or as NIST calls them, plan of action and milestones or POAMs. Some people call them POAMs and I really don't like that. But either way, we'll talk more about them in episode four. See you there.